Yes, this actually happens. In dentistry, this is real medical emergency called oral myasis, a parasitic condition where fly larvae infest the mouth. Oral myasis is a rare infestation caused by the larvae of diptarian flies, usually Chrysomia, Leucelia, or Musca species. These flies lay eggs in wounds or necrotic tissue, and larvae feed on what's available inside the mouth. There are very specific culprits and very specific victims. Why does it affect certain people more? People with cognitive impairment may not notice oral wounds. Elderly with alcohol dependency often have neglected hygiene. Periodontal pockets give perfect entry points. What about tropical climates? High fly population like India, Brazil, Sri Lanka. The warmer and more humid the region, the easier it is for flies to thrive. Now let's understand the pathophysiology. The opportunist fly sits near your mouth, usually attracted to bad odor, wound exudate, blood, necrotic tissue. It lays small, almost invisible eggs into the oral cavity. Within 24 hours, these eggs hatch into larvae. Larvae burrow inside soft tissue. They feed, they move, they breathe, and they grow. There are two types of larvae, primary myasis, which is biophagous, they eat living tissue. Secondary myasis, where the larvae are necrobiophagous, they only feed on their decaying tissue like a cleanup crew. You may see teeny white worms coming out when they try to breathe through spiracles. These little breathing holes pointing up towards the air. It's like a built-in snorkel. Proteolytic enzymes with bacterial action break down tissue, making it easier for larvae to consume. What are the symptoms? Sudden swelling, pain, crawling sensation, ulcers with moving larvae, foul odor, bleeding, difficulty chewing, and visible maggots. Let's find about the treatment. Dentists remove larvae with sterile forceps, use of irritants like turpentile oil, chloroform, ether, surgical removal of necrotic or dead tissue, ivermectin, dressing, and medication can be given to patient. Also, follow-up should be monitored. To prevent this, maintain good oral hygiene, treat cuts or ulcers early. Caregivers must clean oral cavities of bedridden patients. Keep mouth closed in sleeping or avoid mouth breathing. Fix dentures that doesn't fit and avoid keeping food stuck around gums. Oral masses is rare but real. If you want more such strange, rare and fascinating videos, make sure to like, subscribe and share. Also press the bell icon for the notifications. Thanks for watching.